name is Refah Ahmad Yansha and my teammate Muhammad Fadil Ikram for Faculty of Medicine and Dallas University in Indonesia. In this good occasion, we will present an innovative idea entitled Potential of Wharton Jelly's Mesenchymal Stem Cell as a Novel Therapy for Liver Cirrhosis in Vivo Study. The liver has a vital role in human. The liver is the largest gland in the human body's main metabolic organ. Impaired liver function significantly affects the human activity and also the survival. Cirrhosis is the final stage of many chronic liver disease conditions which alter the liver's normal structure, leading to reduce the functional liver mass and also the changes in vascular architecture. Deaths from the liver cirrhosis in 2017 increased compared to the number of deaths in 1990. Her organization reports that the liver cirrhosis account for 1.8% of all deaths in Europe, about 170,000 deaths annually. One public hospital in Indonesia reported that prevalence of liver cirrhosis sufferers was 3.5% of all patients treated in internal medicine wards. Advanced cirrhosis of the liver is associated with a decrease in plasma albumin. Liver cell function is impaired in patients with liver cirrhosis causing reduced albumin synthesis. Hypoalbuminemia is very common in patients with liver cirrhosis and has per prognostic significance associated with decreased survival. The most effective treatment for end-stage liver fibrosis is the liver transplant. The action of the liver transplantation is minimal due to insufficient the donor organs, surgical complication, immune rejection, and also high medical costs. The mesenchymal stem cell therapy has been suggested as an effective alternative method for the treatment of liver disease. It can inhibit the inflammation, decrease the liver cell apoptosis, promote liver cell regeneration, decrease liver fibrosis, and also improve the liver function. The study aims to find out the Wharton jelly mesenchymal stem cell potential as a novel therapy for liver cirrhosis by measuring the serum albumin level as a predictor in white rats in vivo to reduce morbidity and improve life quality in all parts of the world, especially in Indonesia. The start of the research is through experimental with postal and the control group design approach that uses experimental animals as research objects. The preparation of experimental animals, the treatment, the blood draw of rats, the albumin examination are carried out in the Andalus University. This was conducted from May to December 2021. The study population was 18 ratus novetitus men with their strain aged two until three months with a weight between 200 and 300 grams of hand liver services. This research was conducted after passing a genetics test from the Faculty of Medicine and Dallas University. The table above show that liver cirrhosis rate group experienced a decrease in average serum albumin level. The positive control group had a lower mean serum albumin level of 3.09 gram per deciliter than negative control group or non cirrhosis group of rats, which had an average of 3.72 gram per deciliter. This table showed show that the average serum albumin level in treatment group or cirrhosis group rats with working jelly missing chemical stem cell administration was higher than the positive control group which was 3.51 gram per deciliter. Based on measurement of red serum albumin level, it was found that the CCL4 induced group of red without mesenchymal stem cell jelly administration or positive control groups experienced a significant decrease in albumin level. This decrease can be seen in comparison between uh, the negative control and the positive control group, where the average serum albumin level decreased from 3.72 gram per deciliter to 3.09 gram per deciliter. Albumin is synthesized exclusively by liver hepatocyte as long as the amount of nutrient is adequate and is synthesized, is reduced when there is hepatotoxic exposure. CCL4 is one of the hepatotoxic substances that cause injury to the liver by forming free radicals such as trichromethyl peroxy radical. Based on measurement of most serum albumin, mesenchymal stem cell injury administration in rat with liver cirrhosis improvement can be seen in the comparison between the positive control and treatment group, where the average serum albumin level is increased from 3.09 gram per deciliter to 3.51 gram per deciliter. This study result aligned with uh, research conducted by Lin Ez et al. in 2010, where mesenchymal stem cell administration can increase albumin level in mice with cirrhosis of the liver. Mesenchymal stem cell jelly can differentiate into hepatocyte like cell and express liver-specific genes such as albumin. The limitation of this study is that the induction of CCL4 is done intravestically, which can cause damage to organ other than the liver. So, 
This is can cause the stem cell to migrate to other organ that are damaged beside the liver. So the stem cell doesn't work similarly in the liver and affect abdominal level in in triverts. Conclusion: Mesenchymal stem cell therapy has been suggested as an active, effective alternative method for the treatment of the liver disease. It can inhibit inflammation, decrease liver cell apoptosis, promote liver cell regeneration, decrease liver cell fibrosis, and improve liver function, which has been proven in this in five study. But the research can provide mesenchymal stem cell ideally in two ways so that the stem cell can work more optimally in the liver. Furthermore, we will continue this research to clinical study as a candidate for standardized formula tested by medical laboratory and enter, and ready to enter the market. Here are the reference that we use. Uh, honorable judges, thank you for your attention.